It, it's probably the event every year. The Lockerbie family waits all year for April. The Masters is, is like Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving for us. It's, it's that important. That's like the Super Bowl of golf, you know? A family tradition that dates back generations. Who loves it the most? I think my dad. Jay Lockerbie started attending the tournament with his dad, Joe, who only missed one Masters in nearly five decades. I've been probably 33 total, 31 in a row. 31 in a row? Yeah. This one stand out a little bit more? Yes, <laughs> very much so. He's posing on it. He likes it. On the final round of this year's Masters, Matt Kuchar hit the shot of his life on the 16th hole. We all knew it had a chance. Kuchar for some love, oh my boy! <laughs> An ace with a young fan in the front row. When I saw him, you know, walk to the hole, take the ball out, and then I saw him pull a pin out of his pocket, I was like, he's gonna sign that ball. You know, he signs it and starts walking over to Owen. Jay's son, Owen Lockerbie. I saw your smile. <laughs> you were pretty happy, weren't you? Yes. What was it like to get the hole-in-one ball from one of the golfers? It was really amazing and so cool to hold, hold it and think how someone actually hit a pro golf player hit that ball. When he handed you the ball, who'd you high five? My dad. Yeah? Was it pretty cool yes. to share that moment with your dad? Uh -huh. Yeah. What did he say to you? He, he gave me a high five and he said, nice job, buddy. The family tradition it is for us, what it means to us as a family, and I mean, it really makes you wonder, was Jay's dad looking over? You know, it, it makes you wonder about that kind of thing. The Lockerbie father-son master story continues, now with a memorable new chapter. Is the Masters even more special to you now? Yes. Yeah? Why? For him to give me this is just hard to put in words. We'll remember this the rest of our lives. On the road in Bradenton. I think Matt Kuchar is his new favorite player. He always says it used to be Tiger Woods, but it's Matt now. On a scale of 1 to 10, like a 20. A 20? I'm Bobby Lewis. 10 News, WTSP. I don't know, there's just kind of an aura about this place. It's so familiar to me because I felt it for the last 15 years. If there is such a thing as home course advantage. Just right at it, a little right of it. Lee McCoy has it. I bet I've been around this golf course more than 500 times. The Copperhead course, home of the Valspar Championship, isn't just another 18 holes. I used to come out here when I was younger and um, you know, I'd ride my bicycle down here and, and, you know, I was 12, 13 years old, so I couldn't drive a golf cart. So what I'd have to do was show up and look at the tee sheet and find the threesomes and say, all right, you know, this is a threesome, so maybe they'll let me play with them and I can ride with somebody. Get your ride. This is the only way I can play. <laughs> so imagine the joy a year ago when that little kid from Dunedin oh, Lee McCoy. Lee McCoy. grew up on the big stage, the PGA Tour, in his own backyard. Yeah. Green start, Bob, right there. Pretty cool, you know, I had always just been like, you know, growing up here, I'm thinking, man, if I could ever just play in this tournament, if I could ever just get a tee time here on Thursday and just just play, I don't care if I miss the cut, I just want to play. Like, I just want to be able to get into the tournament one time and then next thing you know, I'm, you know, one or two off the lead, <laughs> paired with the number one player in the world. It's like you a know, dream. It was. McCoy returns to the Valspar this week. Round one is Thursday. On the course, he says he's played easily 500 times. Only this time, he's a pro. Is there pressure to do it again, or are you just happy to be here again? More than just happy to be here again. I'm gonna enjoy it regardless of how I play. I, I mean, I, I expect to make the cut. I expect to play well. I know this golf course so well that if I'm hitting it well, I'm gonna put up a decent number. But, but regardless, I'm gonna have a good time just being out here. I'm so blessed just to be able to, to play this event again. and and there's not going to be anything that's going to stop me from enjoying it. On the road in Palm Harbor. Good luck next week, man. Enjoy it. Appreciate Pleasure. It. Thank Absolutely. you. I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. There you go. Yeah. Some say golf is an old man's game. That's good. There is some truth to that. Augusta good or just Zephyr Hills good? But Nora Catlin is proving. Even pros hit mediocre shots. Oh. That the kids can swing it too. It doesn't get much better. I hope she knows that. The 13-year-old hasn't been playing long, but the game comes naturally. That was a plan. It comes so naturally, she's earned the chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Augusta. Yeah. What's it make you think when you hear the word? I, I don't even know what to think, because I've all my life I've thought about going there.
a chance to tee it up at Augusta National, home of the Masters, next week. I was in front of a lot of people, so I didn't want to, like, freak out. But definitely once we got to the car, I started, like, screaming, like, with my parents and, like, just really excited. Is this one of the biggest sporting moments of your life? Definitely. Just making it this far is impressive enough for Nora, who had to go through three different levels of qualifying to make it to the National Drive Chip and Putt Finals. Now here in Zephyr Hills, the local qualifying was no problem for her. Even in Orlando, where it got a little bit tougher, the regional qualifying wasn't too tough for her. When she went down the road to Jacksonville, she was representing the entire state of Florida and beat out every other kid in the state to make it to Augusta National. And now the stiffest test of all comes down Magnolia Lane, where she will, on April 2nd, try to compete against some of the best kids in the country. 60,000 tried out and only 80 made it to the national finals. But win or lose, she's gonna have fans right there by her side who are proud that she's come this far in golf. Honestly, I expect her to do very well. I think she's got a good chance to, to win the whole thing. No, I don't think it's really hit her yet. You know, how big a deal is. On the road in Zephyr Hills, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. That's how you drew it up, right?